You know how you walk into a room and it smells horrible, but the more you stay in that room, the smell seems to fade away. Not that it's not there, but you just kind of become more complacent and pretty much in denial. It's not until you isolate yourself away from that room and then you walk it back in, it's kind of like an awakening because at that point, there's no going back. You got to do something about it. Yeah, <laughs> well, let's start there, sis. It's fine. 
While I catch up with you guys, I'm about to do a flower arrangement. You guys saw me getting ready and stuff this morning. It's because I wanted to go to the store and get some flowers. I've been keeping um, some pink or purple flowers in my office um, because I like just walking past, looking through the glass door, seeing a pop of color. So we did get these pink roses. Last time, I don't remember the name of the flower that I got, but they were beautiful. They were purple and they lasted me, y'all, almost a whole month. So, um, yeah, I want color for that room and I just got these beautiful pink roses. It's gonna look a little skinny because you know how roses need a little, like a day or two to really bloom. So in our, what was I about to say, in our skin, in our vase, it's gonna look a little, little thirsty, a little hungry, you know, a little, little, little needy, but it's fine. Couple days that we're gonna be good to go. So, I also have to get me some uh, trash bags and some makeup wipes. I'm gonna go ahead and refill my trash bags up real quick. Man, do you wanna leave it? This is the fine, Maya. Fine. It's fine. And my makeup wipes, I'm gonna take these upstairs in a minute. So, I'm about to go ahead and get going with this. Um, with these flowers and we can just keep tucking. We gotta make sure we put this flower food in here. Um, I should have did that before the ice, but that's fine. But yeah, y'all, I just posted, don't tell me this is the end. You're kidding me. No. Give me a take. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta have some more tape around here somewhere. Maya, what am I do? What am I do? What am I do? What am I do? And what I can do, we can unravel this. Unravel this, and we can at least do like four quadrants. You know what I'm saying? Just get real hood, but we gonna we gonna do what we can. That ain't gonna work, but at least we can like put it on the edge. <laughs> four quadrants is better than nothing. So, so I just posted on Instagram today, just a little update carousel type of vibe. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. Because I don't really plan on talking about you know a lot that has happened while I was on my break because that was the Point, just to kind of be away but one thing I will let you guys know I know I had my signing off video do I want a shorter I want a shorter I know I had my logging off video and I know that I put a whole lot of emphasis on you know just finding balance and everything like that and while that is very very true and very very needed a big part of why I was taking a break was not said <laughs> um, I think some of you guys already knew that, you know what I'm saying? It just, the vibes were just very wrong and off and not, not good. I just want to start that to say, because I had a lot of people in the comments saying, you know, you know, you probably just don't want to be a vlogger. Vlogging's not for everybody and all of this type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I will 100% tell you guys, I love vlogging. If you have watched me for an extended amount of time, you know that I love vlogging what I do. I love vlogging. I love sharing my life with you guys. I love all of these things. It's not a problem for me. It's just since I've been down here, <laughs> um, it has become more of an issue for certain reasons and I just needed to step away to really get my life together. My issue has never been, you know, actually showing up for my channel, showing up for you guys. That's never been my problem. I enjoy that. I just want to put that out there because that is my truth <laughs> but anyway y'all I told y'all it's gonna be looking real crazy but it's fine during my break guys I quite literally have had so much personal development it's not funny and let me tell you how perfect let me tell you how perfect God's timing is if you know me I have never never taken a full like intentional break from vlogging if I miss a Sunday typically it's because like a brand didn't approve my video on time or something like that so I knew that God leading me towards taking this break was bigger than what I thought it was gonna be I was very aware of that going in I just didn't know what it was going to be what it was going to consist of what was the true reasoning behind it I can't say that I knew that completely at all when I first took the break, but I knew that God was pushing me to go ahead and do it because something had to give at that point. Not having my tape and this being ski, like being super like thirsty is messing me up, but it's okay. This is, this is 
not it. But it's, it's fine. It's okay. They're gonna bloom. Give us a couple days. I'm gonna put it back on here. Y'all gonna be like, oh, okay. I see it, sis. I see it. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, I say all of that to say that God has made some very major changes for me in that time. And I'm at a point right now where I feel so free. I feel I'm feeling more like myself. I feel like since I've moved here, I haven't quite been Maya for multiple reasons. And I feel like I needed that break to really bring me back to being who I am. Not only am I losing my I'm losing weight, so I'm back in my clothes, I'm back feeling more like me in that aspect, but also just internally. I feel like God has shown me so much about myself during this break. So much about myself. Things that I knew about myself too, also, that I just didn't want to face. I didn't want to stand up to or didn't have the courage to really face. God isolating me and kind of like taking me away from everything helped me to be able to open my eyes if that makes sense, and set me on a path of freedom and everything that I just, I can't even explain the, 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 the relief in the release I have. So I don't believe that anything that has transpired is a mistake. I really don't because I'm gonna be honest. So out the whole situation, I would not be where I am right now in therapy in therapy, feeling great about myself, feeling free, feeling like for once I've chosen myself and what I need and what I believe. And that's the best thing that I could have done for my hair. So we're gonna take these flowers, I'm gonna put them in the office so you guys kind of see where I've been leaving them. So I've been putting the flowers right here. I have so many like different um, home updates. So I'm gonna show you guys later on in the week. But like I said, give, me, give, give these two days. They gonna bloom, baby. It's gonna be beautiful. But <laughs> I have been putting them here because not only do I see them while I'm working, but I also can see them as I walk past, back and forth past the office. And I love that pop of color. So we just gonna leave her there. Okay, y'all, back to what I was saying. I am just super, super happy right now i feel like my spirit is lifted my mood is better i'm in a space of i'm gonna say no stress because life has stressors of course and as i'm getting back into working you know there's deadlines and there's things that i need to do and you know that kind of thing normal life stressors but i have not been being true to maya i have not been being true to what i believe I have not been being true to what I told myself was my standards. I have been in a space, especially since I moved down here, where I have been in bondage. I think might be the best way to put that. And I was the one putting myself in that bondage, being afraid to speak up for myself, being afraid to shake the table. You know what I'm saying? With my opinions and what matters to me and all of these things. And once I finally was able to do that with, with God, with myself and with others around me, baby, it is a freedom <laughs> that you cannot expect. It's a freedom you can't explain. And so I'm gonna also say that I'm in a season of trying to forgive me. So this next season of my life is gonna be heavy on the therapy, okay? Heavy on the therapy because Maya, what in the world? Also a season of an apology to myself. I just need to apologize to Maya for some things that I have allowed myself to experience. That was all on me. It, the difference is me saying yes or me saying no. Siri, ain't nobody talking to you, okay? Y'all. Siri, relax. <laughs> anyway, this is the season where I have to apologize to Maya and this will be my apology to myself. And the way I'm going to apologize to myself <laughs> is by really pouring into me. Y'all know this is what I'm all about, so it really ain't nothing new, but on a different level. Also, this is a season where God is taking control, baby. We are getting into a church. I have a good five, list of five different churches I wanna visit that I'm about to be hitting every Sunday, making sure I'm not editing on Sunday morning so I can make it to church. <laughs> me and my girlfriend, Yannick, um, we are part of this 
group, a Bible study with two other women. So I'm doing that every week. So I'm allowing God to really come in and just take over. Jesus take, the definition of Jesus, take the wheel, okay? Because apparently I can't drive no more. I forgot how to drive for myself. Because I'm in this place, y'all know, y'all a big part of my life and I'm going to pour what I have and what's going on with me into you guys because so many of us are going through the same things, similar situations, similar thoughts, similar like life stuff where we're trying to become better women, period. I don't know how I've been telling y'all I was working on a project. So here's the tea. I'm announcing this again in a, in a Wednesday video coming up. However, I am starting a YouTube membership. It is called Babes Reinvented. It is all about everything I stand for, everything I'm always talking about. It's all about rebranding and reinventing yourself as a woman. Right here on the channel, it's gonna be a little more surface level. In the membership, baby, we gonna get real. We gonna share more of my experience, more of my experience of, you know, what I'm learning about myself moving forward, some of my situations, but then also just talk about all of the things is we're gonna be doing bi-weekly lives. We are going to be doing exclusive videos and talking about stuff like body image, you know, life expectations, timeline, insecurities, past trauma, child. Being in seasons where you need to forgive yourself in order to move forward and be better. These type of things, like if you're serious about your journey to become a better woman, that is what we are gonna be talking about in this memberships and we have bigger goals for this later on but right now this is our starting point it's easy to join all you have to do is press join on the channel right next to the subscribe button i pray that that's something that you guys will want to do to increase your life and to do this journey with me because i'm at a point where i don't have a choice because i almost lost myself back there and that ain't gonna happen and i'm also tired of making the same mistakes over and over and over and over and over new purpose for our channel moving forward just becoming the best versions of ourselves and we gonna rock with that so of course expect a lot of the same content you guys already get from me solo date vlogs sit down talking videos the vibes but we're just kind of gonna narrow in on that a little bit more why especially while i am pulling myself up i think i've talked enough <laughs> I was gonna go take myself on a solo date tonight, but I'm trying to decide do I wanna go tonight or do I wanna go for lunchtime? I'm thinking we pick a mirror up, take her straight to her daddy house, and then go out, go out on a cute little solo date, and then pick a mirror up, then come home. That's what I'm thinking I wanna do, but it's only one o'clock right now and I got some errands to run, so I think we're about to go ahead and head on some errands. I also need to post on TikTok, so if you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok, I am now posting more often um i got a lot of stuff already cooked up for you guys um and ready to post so i'm about to go ahead and do that and then i'm gonna see y'all in a second because we got a few errands that we need to run i'm gonna see y'all in a minute <laughs> all right y'all we are in the car headed to errands first of all i'm eating almonds we are intermittent fasting so i've been doing it for about two weeks now and it has really been helping me to um, lose the weight that I need to lose. So I pretty much do the 16-8 method. I'll eat from like between 10 and 11 a.m. to like 6 or 7 p.m. and then fast the rest of the time. So it's a 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, either 10 to 6 or 11 to 7. <laughs> Today I'm doing 11 to 7 because I did decide that we're not gonna go to lunch i'm gonna run these errands and then uh we're going to go to my favorite restaurant in duluth tonight uh which is nunu so i'm gonna do that enjoy my favorite meal there which is lamb chops and then we're gonna um by the time i'm done eating it'll be seven o'clock i think so don't quote me on that we gonna we gonna and if not we'll adjust it for tomorrow it's fine i have just been doing like two meals i'm gonna get into that we're gonna talk about weight loss and all that stuff later on in the week um this ain't time. Anyway, <laughs> we are intermittent fasting. We're not going to lunch. That's the point. This is this is lunch. I ate some eggs and some um, turkey bacon um, at 11 o'clock. So now I'm eating this. Then I'm going to eat at noon later on. Y'all also going to get tired of seeing me with my water bottle because I've been drinking five of these a day. I got this from Target. It is Simple Modern. I've been drinking four, four to five of those a day. Anyway, y'all, 
I need to go to FedEx because I need to print something off. I don't have to print things often, so I don't have a printer and I don't feel like it's worth it to invest in one. So we're gonna go print something off at FedEx. And then I need to go to Sephora because I'm about to run out of, hold up, I am calm down. I'm about to run out of, um, I know I gotta hold the camera when I turn. <laughs> I'm about to run out of eyebrow pencil, so I want to get to Sephora to do that. I also want to check out the new uh, Mario Makeup by Mario concealer. Is that a Sephora? We gonna find out. I would say I'm gonna go kill some time and look at some home stuff, but I do not need to do that. <laughs> Another thing, y'all. During my break, if you saw my Instagram post um, with my little, you know, photo dump from my break. I had some soft locks. So y'all know the first time I got locks, I had got like the distress locks with the curls at the bottom. Super crazy cute. And every time I go to my girl who does my hair, she was like, girl, you sent so many women my way. Thank you. Cause so many of you guys got your hair done and was like, I want what my hair got, I want my <laughs> So first of all, I appreciate you guys for supporting my girl. She does great work. But anyway, went back to her and I got just the soft locks and I got them like 14 inches, like right here because I was working out a lot. So. I like them, but next time I get some, if I'm trying to be cute, cute, we're going to get them to the booty. Because that length was not giving cute, cute. It was giving transitional. <laughs> it definitely did what it needed to do for what it was put in for. But I just didn't want to touch my hair while I was on my break. So that being said, we did do a sew in. This is the same hair that I always use. Y'all know I use uh, Hair R Us. My girl, Kat Graham. It is oh, Maya. I just cleaned my car and I just tossed an, a, a honey roasted almond across the car. Maya. That's another thing I did, y'all. I cleaned my car. <laughs> I've been horrible about cleaning my car since I've been down here. My car is clean, the low key detail. Anyway, this hair is um, Hair R Us. I do get it in the Indian wavy and this hair i think is the hair that i wore at my wedding i want to say child i don't know i found it and i washed it and i was like cool i got about her <laughs> but i did want to get back into my sew-ins because they make me feel more like me as i am entering this new phase in my life this new chapter in my life <laughs> i'm so freaking excited for this new chapter y'all y'all have no idea i'm sure it's not just me i'm gonna say this because i know a lot of you guys probably feel the same way but Y'all remember when I was about to move down here? And I was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna explore the city. I'm gonna take my baby here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go meet people. I'm gonna network. I'm gonna do all these things, right? I know it's not just me, but I haven't done none of that. <laughs> now, one thing I will say is I'm just now starting to get invited to like events and stuff like that. And my manager and myself, we are conspir con conspirating. What? How you say the word? collaborating let's say that because i can't think of it to make sure that i'm getting into the events and doing the things and whatever to meet people but y'all i have not done the things i said i was going to do when i moved down here i have not explored the city i barely get out and barely go do anything and there's a lot of reasons behind that but i low-key feel like i am picking up where i left off just moving down here i feel like i just got my house <laughs> I feel like I just now am about to get into the city and do things and enjoy myself and network, make more friends. I just feel like my life has low-key been on a standstill since I've moved down here. And I'm just so excited for this new chapter in my life. Like, I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> there goes another almond. Maya, bruh, you have got to relax. Is this where folks turn out? I'm so sorry, y'all. I've been sitting here chomping on these almonds in y'all face. This is not okay. I'm sorry to be eating in y'all face. That is extremely rude. I'm about to run into FedEx real, real quick. Um, and then I'll probably pull y'all out to run into Sephora. I'm not going to take y'all on FedEx because it's boring. All right, y'all. I got the stuff printed that I needed to get. Let me pop my phone into my purse. Because I'm always struggling trying to hold everything while I'm in the store. And then I just look chaotic and out of control so okay got that where's my keys in my hand i'm trying to finish my third thing of water by 3 30. it's 2 46 so all right y'all let's go in here and see hopefully we don't spend 
More money than we need to. Hello. Um, I'm looking at it right here. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I told y'all I wanted to check out this surreal skin awakening concealer. So let's see what we got. Oh, they don't have any testers out. Maybe they just haven't done it yet. I really want to try this, but how can I? I can't test it. I mean, I do have the colors on here where you kind of can see what color it is. Like, I'm thinking I'm like up in here somewhere. I just don't want to, I don't want to risk it. Hmm. We might have to leave that for a different day. But that really was the main thing that I wanted to try. Okay, right, let's get brows from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, uh, I usually do my brow cheeks in uh, natural black. I'm gonna get two of these. Child, I should not have came up in here now. I'm just looking at stuff. I need some soft matte um, concealer. It's been a, quite a while. Yeah. Um, is there a can't get some money off? Yeah. No. The 500 points for ten dollars off. Is that okay? Cool. Thank you. Have a nice rest of your day. Thank you. You too. All right, we got our Sephora. So yeah, um, uh, I'm out shop. I'm I'm out shopping. Uh, we got our Sephora. All we got was uh, a, beauty, a new beauty blender and two of our brow sheets. So nothing exciting really. But I came down to Claire's because uh, Claire's has some cute little cases for your AirPods. They didn't have one for me, but next door is a shoe store. I'm in the shops of Web Gen. If you're wondering if you're animated, that's where I'm at. So anyway, I went to the shoe store. I've been looking for some nude um, tennis shoes and I've been looking at New Balance because I love New Balance. I love how they look. And so I saw some in here, but I couldn't decide. I put it on my Instagram and first it was, y'all was like, nah, that is a weird shoe. But then now it's like more people. And now I feel like I can't leave without it. So I'm gonna let y'all look at it. This is a shoe I'm looking at. And the thing is for me, I feel like the sole is kind of weird. It's super big and it kind of sticks out, but I don't know. I like literally cannot decide. I feel like if I buy it, we'll see. And then if I don't want it, I just bring it back, right? As long as I don't go outside. But I think it's, I think it's a cute tennis shoe, you know? And I'm like quite literally in chill clothes, like super cute, like two pieces and stuff a lot. And when I wear like white and nude, I wanted like a shoe that I could wear that wasn't like black or black and white. It's at like 60% on Instagram where y'all like go ahead and get them. So I think I'm gonna get them. I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy them. And then if I change my mind, I just bring them back. It's fine. Hi. Yeah. I was debating. I made my decision. I want them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. We got the shoes. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see if I like them, Mama. Tomorrow when I head out for my workout and stuff, I probably will work out in them. But I, when I have on my two piece, I'm gonna try them on and see how I like it. And then we can make a final decision. Sometimes you just can't make the right decision in the moment. You just gotta buy it and then you come back and return it later if you don't want it. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's totally. Fine. Bottega dupe earrings from I'm gonna say Target no not Target H&M and I love them I think they're so pretty so we're wearing that this is another little necklace from H&M um it's actually on my to-do list y'all to invest in some more higher quality pieces jewelry wise you know I used to wear 
a lot of Anna Luisa and I love them so I might reach out to them I know there's a couple other brands that I know of so that's on the list because I need some higher quality pieces that's gonna last me a little longer also got some rings going on these are from H&M as well the top is from Zara we can fit her again can I get a amen I can fit my clothes again if you saw a try on haul that I did a little while ago earlier this year these shorts are from MOTF and that is a more higher higher vibe type of brand that solo she is so when I tried them on during that it wasn't fitting the way they needed to but now baby we got a little we got a little space you know what I'm saying the booty ain't all smashed down and looks good we're feeling great <laughs> The bag we're wearing is from a J-Lux label. I've had this for a couple years. So um, I pull her out here and there when I need a white bag. Because I do have my Chanel bag, but it's an off-white. So, so I'm wearing white shoes, white top, white bag. Couldn't do black or anything else. It's just one don't go. So also wearing these heels. I'm not sure where I got these from. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But they're super duper cute, affordable these heels. They're not super expensive. So. So if you can see everything, and this is the whole fit. It's giving, it's giving solo dates, baby. So I thought you guys would go to my favorite restaurant in the downtown Duluth, and it is called Nuna. Every time I go there, I get their lamb chops, which comes with like some sauteed sweet potatoes and mushrooms and like a little sweet potato puree. Very healthy, you know. Probably a little oil in it, but you know, fine. Since I am intermittent fasting and just eating cleaner, right now um, I'm motivated because it's working so that's one of my I wouldn't call it cheat meal I would say it's like a mini splurge because it's healthy food but it's still like you know, a little something, something anyways I'm happy I'm in a good mood it's about time for me to go head towards get my baby it's 5 35 she gets up at 6 drop her to her daddy and then we hit it to our solo date. I need to change out my purse. I think y'all know this Gucci purse is my everyday bag ever since I confiscated it from Amira. So um, I do have my light because I'm filming a little TikTok real thing. So my wallet, Vaseline, I always need that. My butter gloves, which is what I have on. In case you're wondering, the color I'm wearing is, I want to say this is Madeline. Madeline, this is the one I wear all the time. I finally, hold up, I feel like y'all can't see AirPods in here because I'm gonna wash me a little something, something. Ponytail holder in case my neck get hot. I think that is about it. So feeling cute. Let's roll. Tattoo. What is this? What's my tattoo? What's this one? It's your birthday, oh. Roman Oh yeah. Yes. You didn't know. You knew I knew, that. I knew that, but I thought it was the one up here. No, the one on my back is either Chinese or know. Japanese for beauty. I got it matching with a friend from high school. Oh, y'all yeah, we that? have baby girl. All right. Yeah, she has one on her like right here and I have mm -hmm. one on my back. We got it matching. That's a friend? Oh. I mean, it's cute, so it's fine. Thank you. I was gonna get some more symbols added underneath them too. Just to give it more, like it was on purpose. <laughs> I mean, it was on purpose, you know what I mean. Okay, Wait, go to your daddy house. How my breath is. You ain't caught your breath yet. We've been <laughs> for 15 minutes. It has been 15 minutes. I love you. Love you too. Did you have a good day at school? Yes. You did? <clears throat> yes. Bruh. That was scary. Mm. Can you can you go inside to your father's house, please? I'm scared I'm gonna get bit. You're not gonna get bit. Just Wait go real time. fast. You can leave what you got homework? Do you have homework? Um, I think that's a yes. I don't. Take know. it back. I don't know. Wait. Well, you we are gonna back. get home a little early, but you. Oh yeah, I can't go home a little early. So if I do have. Yeah, it. but not that early. How early? Why don't you know if you have homework? I don't know. Amira, <laughs> Amira, get your backpack. Just take it with you. No. <laughs> take it and make sure. And you no. need to practice your other stuff too. You have a lot to do. Your life is overwhelming. It's fine. You're getting older. Get used to it, sis. I want to go to sleep. No naps. I want some chicken. <laughs> y'all, why yesterday? Me and Amira was in the living room chilling. And she's so random. She was like, I wish I was taking a nap next to a bucket of chicken. Because, what? 
because I was tired and my body sore and I was hungry. I didn't know she liked fried chicken. Amir, can you get out, please? No. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since <laughs> 11 o'clock. I just had some almonds. Same. Amira, you know I'm on my on my fasting thing now. I can't, I gotta eat before it's before it's seven o'clock. So many bugs out here. It's like monsters. Mommy loves you so much. Love be good, too. be safe. Practice. Do your homework. Ow. Bye. Bye. Yeah, Amira is hilarious. Okay, I'm back. You ain't back. <laughs> oh. Amira's is so funny. I love what you. I got. Oh, we got a lesion. You gonna you gonna read it? Yep. I'm okay. still not even, even though we watched the movie already. Though, even though I'm not even halfway through the first one, and we watched the movie. It's, it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. They forced us to get another book today. Oh my so. goodness. <laughs> it's the forcing for me. Mommy, love you. Love you for too. the fifteenth time. I could just no. Y'all. Bye. I love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That girl is something else. Okay. Some else. Take it forever. All right, y'all. Now we can go. And eat. Oh, look, make sure she gets in safely. She's so cute. Come on, somebody let my baby in the inside. She's there. We can go eat. So, y'all, the most annoying thing, I'm sure you can hear it. It's raining. Um, um I'm definitely pulled up to like 15 minute parking right across from the uh restaurant. And I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to risk it and make a run for it and put something over my head. Um, Cause I'm also in shorts and I'm also have heels. So like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. It's a thunderstorm, bruh, a thunderstorm. I'm, I'm tempted. I just feel like I'm so close to my lamb chops. I've got to go get them. I've got to go get my lamb chops. I can't just not go. Um, we can retry this on Thursday or we can figure it out because look that's the restaurant it's okay come on focus that's the restaurant right there where those little blue umbrellas are so technically if it calm down for a good minute i can make my way hopefully i don't get told because i am in 15 minute parking but that was thunder i need to just take my butt home now what i'm gonna eat i was really looking forward to this maya are you really not gonna go inside yeah, I got this so in. We, this is not going, I'm going to give it 15 more minutes. 15 more minutes. In 15 minutes, if it don't calm down enough for me to walk across the street, we're not going to do it. And we're going to just reconvene on Thursday. Bruh. And we're back home. I'm just going to say it. I am so tired of Atlanta weather, y'all. It rains here. All spring and all summer. Like, yes, you have days where it's not, but it's a lot. Like, it's a lot. There's a lot, a lot. I'm telling y'all, before I left, the thing said it was not supposed to rain until like 10, 10.30 tonight. And uh, what's annoying is it wasn't raining the time that I dropped off a mirror, y'all saw. And as soon as I turned into Duluth, like, got on Buford Highway, rain. Not just a little sprinkle. It was like raining, raining. Like, it was hard to the point where I sat around for about 40 minutes. I opened up the door and I was like, let me just check and see, y'all. My whole leg and side and all of that got soaking wet just from opening the door. So I want y'all to think I'm bougie because I didn't get up and go out. Like, I literally had no umbrella, nothing to put over my head. I got to sew in and have natural hair. Like, I had on shorts and I had on heels. Like, that just wasn't going to happen. So... It's annoying because as soon as I drove off, as soon as I got off of Buford Highway, the rain stopped. Annoying. Anyway, Amira and I have just ordered Chipotle. And I just asked her about these shoes we got earlier. Um, I, I wanted to ask her without, you know, giving her my opinion. And she said the same thing I said about this sole. She said, I don't like, she said she don't like this dip right here. I don't know. They're still growing on me though. It's weird. I asked on Instagram and 60, almost 70% of the people said, go ahead and get it. Sarah said, no. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm going to keep it. Because, I mean, once they're on your feet, you know what I'm saying? Who's really looking? Let's see when is our Chipotle going to get here. It says eight minutes. Yeah, they had to drop something off. So, y'all, I don't be knowing how these brands be getting my address, but I'm cool with it. Mac has a new... uh 
foundation. And I'm not mad at it. It says MAC Studio Radiance Serum Powered, powered Foundation. Everything else look like foundation. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a little camera. There's a fly in here. There's a fly in here? Yeah. They have the little cute little camera. This reminds me of the early 2000s. Serum as well as a foundation. Did they give me two? Yeah, they gave me two foundations. NW43 and NC47. But here's the packaging. It's cute. I mean, I can't really see for real, for real, because I'm at a distance, but it's cute. I really felt like I'll be looking more light skin on online. Um, but it's cool. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Hyper Real Serumizer Skin Balancing Hydration Serum. I'm gonna try these out. Thank you to Mac for sending this over. I don't know how y'all got my address, but keep it coming. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it. Where's my food? Where's my food? Where's my food? Where's my food? Y'all, I am not opposed to wearing the exact same thing on Thursday. I might change the outfit, so, but um, say I won't wear the same thing because I will. You stop staring at me? It's disturbing. <laughs> I'm ready for my food tonight. I'm hungry. I ain't ate since 11 o'clock. Got my Chipotle. So we're about to eat and chill out and hang out. You know, it's I'm happy that we end up getting Chipotle anyway because it's not a bloggy vlog without some Chipotle. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy that we left because it's super dark outside and about to storm and I'm gonna get stuck in that. It's fine. We're gonna go solo dating on Thursday. It's fine. and dryer right and uh, my dryer has not been working ever since I got it I ran that first load and it just was a disaster so and it was like overheating it was just giving problems and not drying stuff so Best Buy will be here between 10 and 2 and it is currently 8 23 so I'm gonna hurry up and I'm gonna get to the park I'm gonna get my run and my all my stuff in so I can get back here by 10 and then wait for them to come 
I might have to stop. I ain't gonna stop at the store. I'll be fine. Cause they just need to exchange it. The dryer was defective. So, um, anyways, that's enough talking. Let's go get our workout on. All right, y'all. So we just got to the park. First of all, I got a new tripod <laughs> and it is short enough to fit on my dashboard. Whether or not it's gonna fall or not when I'm driving is another question, but you know, it's fine. And I also realized that I did not bring my thing for my edges. So this is gonna be a disaster, but it's okay. We need to book a wax appointment, y'all. I'm trying not to pull my arms up too much because we need a wax. Super crazy bad and I'm ashy. I don't know if y'all can see that ash. I've been keeping some um, Fenty stuff in here, the travel size. You know I'm about to sweat this off, it's all right. I'm gonna get out here and stretch just a little bit and get to walking and running. Um, I forgot, I have not even showed you guys my nails. Um, we did something new and different. So these are the nails. Yvonne did her thing, it's very, very cute. I like them. You know, I miss my <laughs> French manicure. So we're gonna go back to that. But also when I went and got my nails done, y'all, I don't know why this is getting so dark. I think it's cause there, it's my hat. Um, when I got to, went to get my nails done, Amira also got her nails done for the very first time, got acrylic, and she was so happy and excited, and it looks beautiful. She just got a regular um, French manicure with like a little silver lining on the white part, you know, where the white meets the natural. Um, Yvonne did it for her while I was getting me a pedicure, and it was super cute. So anyway, y'all, um, another little update. I lost another pound since I started vlogging. Well, since Monday. I started vlogging on Tuesday. But rolling and I'm excited. I'm happy that I'm here because we're going to redo our solo day tonight. So I want to get some exercise in. So I will see y'all in a second when I am nice and sweaty. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're not as, um, whew, we're not as sweaty as we should be because Best Buy just called me and said that they are on the way to the house. So they just called me at 9.51, it's 9.57. I did good. I could've did another lap. <sighs> it's fine. Anyway, hey Siri, end my workout. Continue your workout. All right, so let's look at the workout. All right, how I planned on doing this and showing you guys and holding the camera is beyond me. Here, wait a minute. So we got our outdoor walk, 33 minutes. Uh, two miles. Yes, I made it to two miles, child. I didn't know if I was going to make it to two miles. Um, usually I do three miles. I do two whole laps around and that equals three miles. But it's fine. Also, I had, um, geez, just 300 calories? Ugh, annoying. Typically, I reach about 600 calories. So that's a smaller amount for me, but it's okay. I was sort of like 15 minutes late because I had a couple of important phone calls come in. I was talking to my mom too. So for the first lap, I walked... I would say 70% of it. So it's okay. We're still sweating, getting a little bit of a good sweat in. So it's, it's okay. So, mm. Mm. so yeah, y'all, it's fine. Let's go home. And I might do some weightlifting after they leave from doing the dryer. If I feel like it, if not, we just gonna shower and move on with our day. <laughs> Hi child, we just got back. Um, I need to go upstairs cause my baby has needed some washcloths because we haven't been able to wash clothes for a week. So I got them up there like hang drying. So I want to go handle that before, um, before they get here. So, but the washer and dryer we got y'all is super cute. I always wanted, um, front loads. So look, y'all, we got all these, we got all these washcloths just hanging, child. Okay, I need to just take all these up. They're washed and clean. Amir can use these, but I might actually pop them into the dryer once they get them fixed. But they are hard and brittle. My brain is gonna get a cut with these things. But anyway, um, now I can really show you guys the washer and dryer. So these are the ones we got. They are from LG. I think they're super, super cute. The set was not super crazy expensive either. So I love that and I love the look of them too. And like, this is like a rose gold type of color and I really like that. And I like, you know, how it looks is cute. You know what I'm saying? It's more me. <laughs> so yeah, that thing right there is broke. It turns on, but it, like I said earlier, it overheats and it doesn't, see, now it's acting broke. It ain't even making no noise now. Yeah, it's defective. Yeah, they're about to come and handle that because I 
I need that handled immediately. Because once they get that new dryer in here, I think I'm gonna throw that stuff back in the dryer because it needs some like um, dryer sheets and it's just very brittle. Here y'all, let's see the damage that occurred with my, um, with my edge. Oof. Okay, yeah, they're wet, but it's fine. It's fine. I think what I'm gonna do is just tie it down <laughs> real quick. And then once they leave and stuff, I'll shower and hopefully it'll dry underneath my hair tie. So that I'll have no problem. We're about to wait for them to get here. Um, I'm waiting to eat. What time is it? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. So, what time did I eat last night? 7 to 7 is 12. 13. 13. Wait. Yes, 13. Okay. Where am I at? Wait. 7 to 7. 7, 8, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. is 12 hours. 8. I need four more hours. 8, 9, 10, 11. So, I can eat in an hour. So, okay, that's fine. Okay, it's fine. All right, let's handle this business and then um, get us some food. It is straight through there. That's the laundry room. Right there is on the right, and it is defective. Now, when I first, I only washed one load and tried to put one in, and it, it, it was not it was getting super, super hot, but not drying anything. All right, y'all. So they just left. We got the new dryer. But the guy did just tell me that it could be like a duct issues where they have to come and clean out my ducts. Child stuff, I don't gonna even know to do. Like, you learn new stuff, right? So, he said I'd call like an HVAC company to come and clean out the ducts if it doesn't work. So, the best I could do is put in some towels and see um, when I get back and dry them and see if it, um, see if it dries it. So, we have so many freaking towels, y'all. It's not funny. <laughs> and this is the dark towels and then the lighter towels is just as packed. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna do two towels, three. I'm gonna wash three towels, and then I'm gonna start it, and I'm gonna see. Um, I'm gonna see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have a problem. So let's wash towels. That's good. So I'm gonna wash them, and later on we're gonna try to dry it, and hopefully. Hopefully we ain't got no problems, but I'm super hungry, so we're about to go downstairs and get some food. Oh, where's my phone? It is officially 10.56, so by the time my food is done, I can, I can eat. <laughs> for breakfast, I've been eating, um, child, what have I been eating for breakfast? Eggs, like two eggs, and turkey bacon is mostly what I've been eating. Sometimes I'll do spinach, but I need to go to the grocery store. We might even do that today and restock some stuff. Um, Cause I just need to get stuff for me. Amira is fully stocked. With my intermittent fasting, y'all, I have been, um, you know, I told y'all, I told y'all how I've been eating as far as time wise. You know how you're supposed to actually like skip a meal? Um, I do be skipping the meal, but I still eat breakfast as my first meal, right? And usually I'll eat like another meal later on in the day when it's dinner time and then snack in between. So like almonds or pistachios or um, rice cakes with peanut butter, stuff like that. I usually will add like the egg whites on there too. I think I'm gonna do three turkey bacons. Well, this will probably be my only meal before I go to dinner tonight then I'll snack in between. And I like my eggs kind of soft, so we actually about to leave it kind of like that. So I like it running a little bit. <laughs> okay, let me get my um, rice cake. After we shower and stuff, I definitely think I'm gonna head over to the store. I got a few other errands I need to run too, y'all. We need to go get a freaking wax. That feels not good. I'm gonna book a wax for um for tomorrow. That way we can be out because I plan on going that way anyway, y'all, because I am going on a solo trip, like a new start type of solo trip in a few weeks. And so I need a couple outfits. So we might head to the store and see if we can find some, try some stuff on. I do plan on being five to 10 pounds lighter by then, but it's only two weeks away. So I wanna make sure that I am not procrastinating. Um, I did see some cute stuff on House of CB and I'm thinking about getting this little two piece white set. I'm thinking about that. I think I'm just scared because the sizing with me losing weight. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it, but I'm always usually really good with mediums. Like I usually don't go wrong when I'm in 
a medium when I'm like my normal size. I do plan on getting smaller than my normal size. That would be good. Why not? <laughs> That's always been my goal anyway. So it's like we're about to take advantage of that while we're on the road with the weight loss. Uh oh. I just spilled a whole bunch of salt in my little. Okay, I'm gonna handle that. It's fine. I probably shouldn't be eating salt anyway, sis. I like these salt shakers from Marie Kondo. They're from the um, container store, but the openings, like the shifting op openings, are very, very big. So it's very easy to overdo it and to ruin your food. So I ain't even gonna blame that one on That's steak ball. <laughs> I like my bacon nice and crispy, how I like them. All right, so I'm about to sit down to eat my breakfast, first meal, and also have my devotion. So. I'm gonna see y'all after we, you know, shower and get cute. Um, I'm trying to think, do I wanna do my makeup earlier or wait? I think I'm gonna do my makeup probably with y'all. So that's probably the next thing you'll see is us doing a cute little face. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, we are back. I am about to beat this face real quick. Um, I told y'all we're redoing our solo date tonight. So I'm about to go ahead and just put my makeup on real quick. And then to kill the time in between us picking up a mirror, I'm gonna show y'all the updates that we have done in the house after we get done with our makeup. So obviously y'all went to Sephora with me, but y'all know I've been using the Brow Cheat by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this has been my go-to for my brows. I use Black Brown is the shade that I use. I like the shape of it. I like the shape of it. If you've been following me for a long time, and you remember my makeup days. <laughs> Y'all know I like when a um I like a super fine tip on a brow pencil, but I really, really like it when it has like a little bit of like a triangular triangular shape because it has a end that's a little thicker and one that's more like pointy. I feel like, well, I was about to say I feel like I'm gonna sit here and blab on while I'm doing my brows because usually I can't do it, but it looks like we're doing just fine. So we're just gonna roll with it. But I just wanted to address something real quick. It's so crazy how people cannot even like truly know what's going on. But when you know and gotten to know someone, their personality, their vibe, their spirit, you can always tell when something ain't good in the hood. You know what I'm saying? And I say that to say, it's a lot of you guys. And I'm, for my brow shot, I'm using this NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brightener in Sunfire. I do use this to shape my brows underneath, so. But yeah, I say all, I say that to say that um, there's a lot of you guys that ever since, I'm gonna say like last summer, I've seen in my comments, a lot of you guys be like, Maya, you are just truly not yourself. Something's up, you just don't seem to be the normal you, you know, you're getting more sad, more depressed, more of this, more of that. It's just not the vibe that I usually put out, right? I noticed that when it was happening, but I'm reminded of it a lot in these days right now, currently, because I feel like I finally broken out of that. In the time where I was seeing these things, I pretty much was just like, okay, I don't understand what people are, people think they're seeing from me because I feel normal in that moment. That kind of was my front. There definitely were some things going on with me that obviously you guys were not aware of because I don't want to obviously share absolutely everything. <laughs> I gotta have some personal business to myself, which I am actually learning balance for that moving forward. I've, I've learned a lot of lessons when it comes to being an influencer. How much to share, what to share, what is oversharing, what is not, you know, especially with the type of influencer I have come to be. I started off just doing my makeup and sharing tips and all that stuff. And it's kind of has blossomed into um, a very real platform. A very real platform where I do share certain things about my life not everything but I do share certain things about my life and for me I do it and I feel like God leads me to do it because there's so many women watching me who go through similar things and it's just kind of like relatability thing and like a hey, look sis this is what I'm going through you're going through this too we can all make it type of encouraging type of vibe I love that about us in our community because so many people 
are going through so much stuff. You know, we're going through a lot. Life be life in on a regular basis. And I do pride myself in being one of those influencers that do not mind showing some of the bad, meaning like moments where I'm crying or I'm depressed and I share I'm having mental health issues or, you know, things like that without oversharing. Now, I feel like I have overshared in the past, which I'm drawing that line and that boundary for me, for my mental health and for my platform. However, I never want to get to the point where, how do I want to say this? I don't want to get to the point where it's like, I'm acting like my life is completely perfect and it's just like a facade and oh, I'm cute. Oh, look at my outfit. Oh, look at my hair. Oh, look at this is whatever without some real life because life is life. And I feel like there's too many people out there that are like that. That's great. You know what I'm saying? But I like that I give the platform where it's like, you know, this is what it looks like. And doing that, <laughs> I realized that it requires me as a woman who is human who makes mistakes it requires me to make public mistakes <laughs> y'all i don't want to be boring i really don't but i just want to do like a, a i want to do just like a manly <laughs> i do i'm not gonna lie that's what i'm gonna do y'all stop judging me it's fine it's fine we'll do something more adventurous tomorrow because we're going outside tomorrow i've been trying to I know. I've been trying to find other things to do solo wise besides just going out to eat. Um, so tomorrow we're gonna try to explore a little bit of that. <laughs> I'm still alone even though y'all with me. Y'all not gonna see this till Sunday, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, like I was saying, it does require me sometimes to make some public mis mistakes because I am open and honest about certain things in my life and I don't hide it. And I'm okay with that because that's life and that is progress. I just like to come back and be like, so this happened, but now I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six to make sure it don't happen again. But like I said, there are times where you do have to guard your space, guard your mental health, guard your privacy, and I'm getting better about that. I've been trying to get away from doing the um, the wing liner all the time, but y'all know that's my look, and I just don't feel like I got to throw away. I just don't feel like, I just don't feel like. Like y'all just need to relax. Stop judging me. That's what I feel like. But I also want to have some like variety. So um, I'm thinking about it, but not today. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I said all of that just to say, y'all, um, thank you to those who support me, love me, and were truly in my comments trying to help me. Because here's the thing, people, like I said earlier, you can see somebody and you can see their vibe is off. You can see something's going on and not really know what's going on. And then people make assumptions and they don't know things and whatever. That's very true. However, <laughs> you guys are not the only people, you know, feeling like I was not myself since I moved to Atlanta. Some people who love me and who watch my channel, like family members, friends, acquaintances, have said some very similar things. You know, even people that don't necessarily know my life or what's going on in my life, just like, is my okay, you know? Cause it's true. Um, I have been more needing breaks and being overwhelmed and just kind of not being me. Cause I'm gonna be honest with y'all. And I told y'all at the beginning of this video, I love what I do. I just told my friends this on the phone earlier. I ain't never, till I moved here, felt any type of overwhelming feeling about vlogging. Now I do get frustrated when it comes to Instagram and TikTok just because those are, you know, the way of creating content is a little different now. It's just, it's a different thing I need to learn, whatever. But YouTube is my jam. It always has been, I'm in this almost six years now. <laughs> so this has never been a thing for me. So it definitely was some other stuff going on that made me feel like I could not perform doing my work that I love the way that I needed to. That's more what you guys were seeing, just the outward effects of other things. I'm showing up on camera because I'm on camera weekly, you know? Hold up, I can't talk on my lash, hold up, love me. I'm just gonna go in with my um, normal, regular, regular day look. Um, <laughs> this is the Yummy Skin blurring balm from Vanessa Merrick's that I use as a foundation because you're gonna see the before and after here in a second, but 
people say they use this as like a primer or even like underneath their foundation but for me i feel like you don't need nothing else it's like a skin tint like a really great skin tint that evens out the skin tone to me that's what it's giving to me do y'all see the difference over here see here this little unevenness is really just all you see just some discoloration stuff like that and then over here it's more even that's all we need I don't need a foundation with this. <laughs> this is foundation if you ask me. But yeah, thank you to y'all. I love, y'all don't know how much I love y'all. I feel like God has been taking me through some life lessons where I'm in a place where it's time for me to completely reinvent Maya. Not just the outside, not just the pretty, not just the, you know, makeup, hair, outfits, wardrobe, um, home, aesthetic. Wow, I love that stuff and we're gonna be doing that too. But God has me in a season where he's like, all right, I'll put some stuff in your face. You see where your flaws are. Let's fix them and let's do it with the platform that I have given you. So that's where we are. Um, we want to find our the rest of our tribe here on YouTube. If you know anyone who is on this kind of journey, um, just to be better in general. We even, I don't even need to be super specific about that. Just to be a better woman, whether you want to dress better, where you want to look better. Maybe you want to, you know, figure out a cute way to do your makeup. Maybe you want to heal some trauma. Maybe you want to get more confident in your body and you know, get rid of some body insecurities, any of that stuff. If you know some bodies, send them our way, okay? Because this is us. It's not just, I get, if, if, if I was just making videos and I was watching it, I'd be nowhere. I don't make videos for me. <laughs> I make videos for you guys. So please send them this way because it's going to get real, real over here um, because I'm on this journey. And I've gotten confirmation that God wants me to take you guys on the journey too and what's so crazy is when god gave me this direction for my channel and i wouldn't say that it's something that's so off left for me because this is what i've been doing you know what i'm saying but more focused i didn't even realize i was going to be in the season where i am right now i didn't know that at that moment so it's kind of a full circle god can see where you're going <laughs> whereas you have no idea you know what i'm saying God knew exactly where I would be once I started, you know, my membership and got back on YouTube, even taking the break, didn't know that was gonna happen. Essentially, God is planning, you know? And I do believe, I do believe that God allows things to happen. Even if it's not the best thing, even if it's not necessarily, if it's not the direction I believe God uses everything in our journeys for the future that he has laid out for us in the future. So I believe that everything that's happened on my path so far for a bigger purpose that I might not even see all right now. But y'all have no idea how this six weeks off has blessed me. I ain't gonna act like it was all sunny, happy rainbows and butterflies, cause it was not. <laughs> it was not, it, um, it was an emotional, break but a relaxing break i got some of the rest that i needed i got some of the confirmations that i needed i got you know time to just live my life and focus on some things that needed my focus but it definitely was tough it definitely was a tough six weeks but it was a very needed i needed six weeks we live we learn we grow and I'm not ashamed of that, but one thing I will be ashamed of, especially with God giving me access to so many beautiful women, I would be ashamed coming on here and act like nothing happened and then, you know, acting like I'm perfect and I'm good and all these things. No, I'm going to give you honesty. I'm not about to learn some personal lessons about myself that, you know, was hard to hide as hard to break or, or things that are truly making me a better woman when my whole platform is about how to be a better woman and not pour from an empty cup. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to gatekeep anything that God is doing with me in my life on a personal level. Um, so that means I ain't talking about nobody else in their business, what they've done, whatever. Woo -woo. I'm talking about me internally, how God is working with me and making me be the woman that he wants me to be. 
showing me myself my flaws my ways of looking at things my lack of standing up for myself all of those things you don't worry y'all gonna get that info because if he did it for me he can do it for you i am blabbering okay i'm blabbering what time we got let me see did i even bring my phone here mm. my phone is sitting right in front of me okay i have been loving the matte face lately and I think we're gonna rock with it. I have not been wearing highlighter for the past, like, I don't know, it's been a second. Um, I've been loving this face. This matte, I'm using the LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer. This bronzer was already one of my favorites. The stick bronzer as well as the, the, child, what's this called? You, you see it. This is all I gotta say, you see it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, I'm gonna end off this little chat and just say, y'all, I feel more free than I have felt in so long. Oh my God, that was a dark. What is on this? Do y'all see? Oh, no, no, no. Please stop. Do y'all see how my nose looks like? Okay, wait, I can fix it. Maya, you need to wash your brushes and stop playing. Y'all, it's like black nail, it's like black. It's some black eyeshadow on this. And I just use it to try to contour my nose. Child, I need to wash my brushes immediately and stop playing around. Y'all, I feel so free. I feel so <laughs> energetic. I feel excited to work. I feel I feel motivated. I feel like I have quite literally lost time. Like it's just gone. It's just in the wind somewhere because I was not making any progress in my job and my work financially. I was not making any progress in um, a lot of areas in my life. So I can't lie and say I don't have um, an insane amount of happiness and relief these days and I'm feeling like me baby this weight is dropping off you hear me it's dropping off and I'm so happy because here's the thing you can do everything you want to do to lose weight but baby when you stressed out okay when you, when you stressed out here like you ain't gonna like it's gonna budge because what when I tell y'all in this season I have learned not this season but in the past year or so I have learned how much stress and anxiety affects you your daily life your ability to do things your motivation so many things earlier this year i had my first anxiety attack i ain't never had anxiety to the point where it affects my body i feel like i got some anxiety of course like i'll be talking fast and i'll be moving fast and like i got that it's just is what it is i accept that about myself you know it's fine but <laughs> i'm trying to be more calm more gentle more gracious smooth with grace we're working I'm a work in progress, but I've never had anxiety to the point where it was affecting my body, like stress and anxiety. And that was starting to happen to me <laughs> and it was not great. I'm just grateful now to, um, to just feel better all the way around the board, y'all. I'm so happy to be losing this weight. Y'all know I've been talking about losing weight for a year. Y'all remember like last September, October, November, I was trying to lose weight and it was not budging. Not that I was not trying. I even did a Weight Watchers partnership. I had Weight Watchers for the free 99 and nothing was happening. <laughs> nothing was happening, but I'm just so grateful now that um, it's happening. So um, y'all, I've been using this um, liner. It's the Line Loud Lip Pencil from NYX color I have is Rebel Kind. But I did buy like three of these because I had to retire my little elf one for doing the signature Maya look. This is what I call it, y'all. Signature Maya. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. The butter gloss I always use is Madeline. I feel like what y'all looking at right now is my signature full beat. Natural ombre lip, brows, wing liner. <laughs> the lashes are from Lash Couture Kisses Lash Couture line and the style is ruffled. All the girls have been talking about this on the TikTok, so I had to get them. Well, I've had these before. Y'all know I ain't no stranger to this little this little lash palette from Kiss. And I'm on their PR, so I have like all of the styles. So 
Um, yeah, so this is the face. I'm going to spray. I've been not having a lot of demarcation. Okay, cool. I'll pull it back enough. I'm going to see what's going on with this hair, too. Sometimes when you have matte on your eyes, spraying messes it up, and I'll be forgetting. I'll be forgetting. So I'm going to go over it real quick. Just with a little something, something. Oh, it's giving matte. It's giving. Come on, we got to zoom in for this one. It's giving matte goddess. Take this off. See what these edges looking like, child. Let's see what's going on. Um, wait, let me zoom. Hold on. Let's get get the face without the without the scarf. <laughs> I love it because it's matte, but it's still like I think it's the um Vanessa Merrick's yummy skin that still gives a little bit of the sheen um on the face. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Sandy with Best Buy Home Delivery. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Yes, everything went fine. Awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Speaking of that, y'all, that was Best Buy checking on the, uh, the thing from earlier. <sighs> Turns out they did that for no reason because it's definitely the duck work. Uh, so I had to call somebody and they're going to be here tomorrow morning between 9 and 11. So we're going to take that time to get ready before we go outside tomorrow. And they're going to come and clean the ductwork. So, sorry, Best Buy. You actually didn't have to come and save me and give me a whole new one. <laughs> because as soon as I start, as soon as I put that stuff in there, the same thing happened. It stopped at like 10 minutes and gave me the exact same um, error. So, it's okay. I am actually not going to touch my edges. I think we look good enough. For the edges to stay, I might hit a little bit of edge control. Y'all know I use my girl, my girl Tara, uh, one of my best friends from St. Louis, her edge slick made hair care. Y'all know I always gotta tag my girl and her stuff. Before I put the link up, I'm gonna make sure she actually has something out because y'all be selling it out, okay? Every time I plug it, y'all sell it out. Every time, y'all. When I tell you this edge control is the truth, a lot of y'all got it. If y'all believe that, go and drop drop your reviews in the comment section. Let the girls know that this is a need. Not a want, but a need. Do not look at my um, armpits. That's why I just put my hair right here. <laughs> we gonna go see Tahira tomorrow. Which she was supposed to call me back and she didn't to tell me if she had time tomorrow. So I gotta call her. But yeah, I'm not touching these edges. We just gonna rock with it tuck. We gonna tuck this little hair. I remember when I lost my hair last year, so it's still a little short. Um, I don't want that to break off anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck it underneath that, that way. It got a little, it's a little waves and that's okay because the hair is wavy, right? And this gives me a lot of hope because I didn't know how my hair was gonna be acting with me working out every day and then, um, and then trying to be cute and do stuff, you know? Uh, but it's working out just fine because I literally just did this sew in um, over the weekend. Oh, when did I do it? Last Thursday? Last Thursday? Last Thursday because I just took out my faux line. Makeup is done. I'm done blabbering. I'm sorry, guys. But let me be honest. I told y'all earlier in this vlog I was going to make this a long vlog because y'all deserve it. I've been gone for six weeks. So we're hanging out. We're hanging out. <laughs> and it's fine. I'm trying to clean up a little bit, y'all, because let me show you. This little vanity situation be dirty. Okay, dirty. Yeah. It be super dirty. And I have all these brushes over here that need to be washed. So I'm gonna do that because I'm doing my makeup almost almost daily now. Um for the past few weeks in my process of getting back to me, back to Maya, who I am, what I love. I have been doing my makeup daily. Now, some days, obviously, those are just, um, you know, very chill makeup looks, which I'm going to show y'all. But heck, maybe I'll show that to y'all on Saturday because I want to be good up tomorrow. But on Saturday, I might show y'all my very simple. Well, we just wait till next week. Maya, you ain't going to do everything in this vlog. I'm just excited. <laughs> I'm just excited to be back. Like, I really am. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But anyways, some days, it's a very quick five-minute face. Um, that I've been doing and I will show you guys that soon 
I've been trying to leave most of the stuff that I use on a regular basis just out, just out right here. That way I have easy access while I'm doing my makeup when I reach for it. Um, I don't really have the best organization right now, but you know, it's been doing, it's been doing what it's been doing. Ugh. Maya, what did we just say about practicing grace? That is really something that I'm working on. I don't like that I move so quickly sometimes. I talk so quickly sometimes. I drop things. Um, I'm working on being more mindful and in the moment to where I, that does not happen like that. Um, okay, that one wasn't my fault. It's something right here that made it uneven. Bruh, what the heck? Are they not? Okay. Stay. Okay. I need to get rid of these lashes. But yeah, I'm trying to get more, um, just relaxed, a little bit more calm, a little bit more, just, just better in that way as a, as the type of woman that I want to be, that her version of myself, that's the best. She's more calm. She has more grace. She moves a little slower. <laughs> She's enjoying every moment of life and not rushing because why? We all got some, right? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Everybody calm down. Slow, Maya. Slow. Slower. Slower. It's okay. We're in no rush. We're going to be fine. All right, y'all. So since we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and tackle this room. Um, this room is still very much a work in progress. A few of you guys did recommend me to move that table that was in the middle. You're right. It served no purpose. It was random. It was in the way. So we did get rid of that. That's the only update we got here. I got y'all on my, uh, on my tripod. I don't know if they saw this color, but I will link it in the description if I remember. Anyway, this room, the loft area, um, not much change, but I do want to elevate this room. It's not looking the way I want it to look. However, the tree that I had in my room, I do have over there in the corner. Nothing else much has changed in here. I also took the chair out of my bedroom. So right now it's living there. The guest room, y'all, we have to find some cute stuff. I'm not gonna open it because it's a little empty right now, but we are gonna find some really cute stuff to go in the guest room because we need a new guest room now. <laughs> New wash and dryer, y'all already saw that. Got my towels hanging, child. Waiting for the people to come clean my ducks. In my bedroom, y'all, I did switch out my um, pillowcases. Y'all know they were like a dark brown. I did get this um, white off of Amazon, which I love because I've just been itching for a more brighter vibe in here. Um, y'all know me. I like the white and the bright vibes. But with having the black wall, I feel like I need more. Also, plan. This is gonna go. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, somewhere in the house. But I feel like I need something. I feel like it's very blocky. I feel like I could do something else here. Maybe some circular some things or whatever. That's a work in progress, but that's gonna go. Um, so yeah, I just wanted my bed to be a little bit more brighter. Work in progress. I really wanna get like a blush pink velvet, um, what do they call it? It's the ones that kind of are a cylinder that go across. I'm looking for that because I want to do like the pink and the green. I just feel like that's kept always low pink and green. I want it to be AKA, but um, I ended up being pregnant during the time that all of my friends pledged, but <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, um, change that, um, but probably we'll go back and forth between the green and the white, but for now I love the white because it brightens up in here. I did add this bookcase which you guys know was in the loft area it's not really styled the way i want it to be but i did add this here in this room we actually did get a new tv the tv is a 60 60 inch the other one was a 55 so i moved this mirror over here and the reason that i felt like i needed to move the mirror is because the lighting was horrible when it was over there and it was hard for me to get content because the window was right behind the mirror so now that the window is kind of like over here it lights it and i can create more content i can take selfies outfit pics outfit videos type of thing so um I like it over here. I think it's cute. Took the pink out of this and put this beautiful greenery. I want to say I got that from Hobby Lobby, the greenery. This is the whole corner. Um, keep. I got that light from Article over there and I think it's really cute. That might be it, y'all. We got some bathroom changes, but we can show, I can show that kind of stuff a little bit later on. So let's go downstairs 
So I can show you what else we got. Where's my phone? I probably should keep track of the phone. Let me go in here and grab my phone and my water because, oh y'all, I gotta stay on my water. I was so good with it before I started working, but now I'm working and I'm having these long uh, content days and I'm having days where I'm like just vlogging and moving and going and doing stuff again, living life. And I've been forgetting to grab my water. So we're gonna get on the water because I don't have time y'all to be slacking on the water. Okay, so um, another change. I'm sure you guys remember when I did the partnership with Nathan James um, earlier this year where they gifted me these two, but they were all brown. Nathan James actually has ones that are black with the seagrass in the front, but they were sold out at the time that I did the partnership. So what did we do? We painted. There she is, and I think it's beautiful. Now, I still gotta do the feet. I honestly, I just use the paint that I use for the walls. I use my regular black wall paint because it's nice and matte, and I will be going in and doing the feet as well along the bottom, but y'all, I think it's so beautiful. But we are gonna be changing this out. I think we're gonna do artwork here. Um, I haven't decided yet, but now it's just way too matchy-matchy. Y'all know I used to complain about the matchy-matchy, but now it's like, exactly. So, we're not a fan, but I love this. This up here is just gonna have to change. Um, uh, We used to have that long thing at the bottom that had like the baskets in it. Obviously, that's gone now. So, on this wall, we are actually gonna do a gallery wall, y'all. So probably next week, I'm gonna start mapping that out and kind of putting the tape on the walls to see how I want it to be. But that's what we're doing and that painting is going upstairs. Now, speaking of more paint, do y'all notice anything? So this day, y'all, I quite literally got very paint happy. I painted the cupboard, do you call it cupboard, cabinets, whatever. And I also painted my under my island Tell me if you see the vibe. Like, I think it's cute. I feel like it elevates it. It brings some interest to it. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it looks really, really nice. And then I also um, did one more thing. I'm gonna show y'all when I paint it. But um, I'm gonna be switching out. I'm gonna be switching out our pendants eventually. I want something a little bit more elegant and a little bit more um, open glass wise because that shade I don't I'm not crazy about it doesn't really have the light illuminate the way I want it to obviously we put our moss bowl here in the middle of the island and I have to say I love that because now when I'm in the kitchen I can see the television originally I ain't gonna lie I did want something pretty big right here tall extra extravagant just from like Pinterest stuff that I've seen online however it does block conversation but when a few of you guys told me that too in the comments, so I heard you this. It blocks conversation and it also blocks the TV. The point of the open space is to be able to talk to people and to mingle and to see everything. And I can't see everything if I'm cooking, cutting up stuff and there's a big old something right here. So I thought this was good. I wish it was the black one, but it's fine. I have two of these and they're both white. I can always paint it. You know, we get paint happy, obviously, y'all. I'm putting y'all in this corner because the lighting is really messing us up. Um, all this natural light. But we put that over there. We put the bowl over there because we got a new setup here. I remember earlier in the year, I told y'all, I felt like something was missing from the table. And a few of you guys told me that I needed play settings. So that's what we did. <laughs> we only have four right now. Um, I probably will get six because I'm still looking for end tables to go on the ends of the dining table. Um, but... I love this centerpiece. The stems are from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I got some moss on the inside right here just so, you know, it looks more elevated put together. And I got this concrete base also from Hobby Lobby. So um, I got excited one day and just was in all the home stores and this is what we came up with and I absolutely love it. Um, I got these plates from Amazon. I don't like how water dries on them so i felt like it was cool to have them as play settings and then these play settings are from crate and barrel which is also where the table is from in case you missed that i think it's so cute and i feel like it's very like grand all right y'all let's move on over to the uh, living room okay so over here in the front of the house obviously you see what i painted i did finally paint the back of my door black i have been wanting to do this for a while and like I said, I had a day where I just got paint happy. I did the uh, side.
my boards underneath my eyelid and I did the door. I feel like it really elevates this space and really centers it. I love it, y'all. So, on another day where I was just spending unnecessary money, um, Home Goods had this amazing mirror. Oh my God, look at my makeup. Mm. I'm super dry under one of my eyes. I'm gonna go spray that, but it's fine. Um, anyway, you guys saw this morning when I was praying for a mirror, y'all saw this mirror. However, um, Home Goods, one day I saw it, I passed it by, I was so upset with myself. Two weeks later, well, a week later, I came back and I didn't see it. And a week later, I was like, something is telling me and I had promised the mirror. I told her, I was like, I ain't gonna do no home stuff today or tomorrow. It's not gonna happen. And she was like, mm hmm I don't believe that. And after my run, I did stop by Home Goods because I just felt the urge. I shipped it through all the mirrors and there she was waiting for your girl. I had to get her. I had to get her. So, but God, and I love it. I've always wanted this by the door. Um, I was inspired to have one of these by the door by my friend Janae. I don't know Janae Naylor. Um, used to go by Hilo Lux. She has a mirror right in front of her door, or right by her front door in her home. And um, ever since she's had that for the past couple years, I've loved that and I wanted that. So I finally found an irregular shaped mirror for my door. So thank you for the inspo, Janae. <laughs> I did buy this table from Home Goods. And what is this base? Home goods as well. Hobby Lobby. These are the same um, stems that are on the dining table. And then I haven't decided what other decor I'm gonna put here right now. It's just been like a little um, candle and I have like a little catch-all sometime that's right here. I just felt like I needed something like entry-wise in this area. Obviously, I didn't want to put anything on that wall because it's right going to the bathroom and there's not a lot of space. But I felt like if I could find a small circular table, pedestal type of vibe, then we could put something here just to add some decor. And I love it. I love it. So, um, still a work in progress because I need to figure out what other decor is going to be around that. And, y'all, let's go to the office. Office. First things first, let's check out our roses. See, I told y'all they were going to bloom. I told y'all they were going to bloom. So, these are our roses now. They, um, have come into their own a little bit more. I think they look beautiful. I love this shade of pinkish purple. I think that is really, I really think that that's really, really cute. So, um, yeah, office wise. You guys will see in one of the videos I actually just filmed the other day. I actually took this up to the studio for me to film with it. But I did get this little thing right here from Home Goods, and I like it because what I've been keeping in here is like AirPods, um, my little thing for my memory card, um, little stuff like that, my notebook that I use, and then like I have some mail and stuff that I need to. Oh my god, look at how ashy! Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. It's fine. <laughs> Anyway, the bottom drawer, I've been keeping like mail and stuff that I need to follow up on. So over here, we did get this cute little cupboard thing from Home Goods. I loved it. I figured out how to get it in my car, baby, and I took it home. Now, I do wish that I had two of them, especially for this space. It'd be great if I had two, but I'm okay with the one for now. Because once I find something big enough that works to go in here that's a little bit longer, there's so many places in the home where I can utilize this. So I felt like it was a really good... So y'all wasn't gonna tell me that my shorts was inside out? Y'all ain't real. Y'all ain't real. Why did I just notice that? Naya, what is wrong with you? It's okay, the work is on calming down. I don't know how that happened, but it's fine. Let's grab something out the drawer. Oh, I didn't even notice what I was showing y'all, the two piece. Anyway, yeah, I felt like this was a good piece because I can, um, I can most definitely use it in so many other places in the home, even in the office, if I found something else to go here. So yeah, I got a picture frame with nothing in it. Find for this. <laughs> yeah, I got some storage in there. I really needed some storage, like really, really bad in here. But anyway, I'm happy. It definitely works for right now. So I don't know if y'all can tell, but first of all, let's handle the hands because no. I cannot believe I'm out here just being ashy like this. I am ashy. My, my, my shorts are on inside out. What is going on? It's fine, I'll take them off anyway because we're about to go pick out an outfit. I did decide that we're gonna um, wear something different than what we put on the other day. We're gonna give give another vibe. And I'm gonna wear that outfit with the white top and the green shorts very, very soon. I
choir more better than we ever had before. Gonna be hard, though I couldn't blame them. Basic bottom troll, what do you want greater? I am no wave, be surfing. I show you what I get to pay, who I be stacking. Been in a whole lot of pain, now we laughing. Me and Bay making plays till we crashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, y'all, I'm about to show y'all the fit we came up with. Let me set y'all up real quick. I love this new tripod, y'all. It's just so small and cute. Alright, y'all, so this is the full fit. Top is from Aritzia, y'all already know. It is in a large, and I'm starting to not be able to fit these. Um, they're meant to hold you in. This is what the girl at the store told me. She was like, they're meant to hold you in. The large is not good for me, even when I was in the large. She said that I needed a medium. So now they're just getting a little loose you know they're not really holding me in but we're gonna ride it out i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it tailored but we're gonna figure it out pants are from zara they're kind of like a little sophisticated gaucho y'all remember gauchos we used to wear gauchos what was that middle school i think it was middle school well if you're my age i'm 33 almost 34 so middle school i'm thinking <laughs> we're talking like 2003 um but i feel like these are just like a very sophisticated gaucho i love them makes the booty look good i have not been able to fit these since i've moved here i haven't worn them since i moved here so we're in them we're cute we're loving it it's giving <laughs> i hope i'm not too washed out the sun is like beaming in here i had to close the blinds real quick but yeah they're giving i'm loving it um the only thing i don't like about this is the shirt meets exactly where the pants are and there's like a cute little v detail in the back of the pants you can't really see it at the top because of the top but okay got my Bottega bag as well as Bottega um, stretch sandals which are super comfortable probably the most comfortable heel I've ever purchased definitely plan on getting some more colors but y'all know I've been rocking these black ones that we gonna ride them to the to the rubber fall off okay but yeah I really love this outfit I think it's cute it's giving sophisticated summer a little color a little muted color but color nonetheless <laughs> let's walk around this house and um close it up child i must really be dedicated to this content because i got heels on walking down the freaking um steps i don't never have my heels on upstairs i always bring them down and put them on <laughs> by the uh garage door or in the living room because who is trying to okay who is trying to okay four minutes left on my memory card Oh, we making a long vlog. All right, y'all. That's it. I can't talk to y'all because I need more footage, obviously, for us to go out. So I'm about to go export some content onto my camera, I mean, onto my computer, so that we can actually vlog while we're out. This one will be a very long vlog, but it's all right. All right, let's do it. She's upset because now she can't wash clothes. I'm sorry. I didn't even think. I did. I'm not going to lie. I did think to get the ducks cleaned. But, um, then the guy came and said it was it was defective. He didn't know what he was talking about. I should have known. I should have known he didn't know what he was talking about. Okay, bro. You got to go. I am going to dinner, and I'm so excited to have my food. Because, you know, I got, I got rained out on the other day. You really just taking your time eating these cheeses. Can you go you inside? Oh, no, yeah, I'm not eating that. You can't fill me up with processed food. You can fill my you can fill my water up. You can fill things up. You can fill my water up. What did you just say? I love you. Me too. That water is not good. That water tastes like that's water from school. Yeah, that tastes Your like still smooth. Yeah, that tastes like Fiji I water. I like Fiji water. Mm, I'm like, mm. You taking all your snacks inside? Your sister don't eat though. No, she's not. All right. Mommy loves you so much. Be good. Amira, did you get homework tonight? No. Are you sure? I finished my. Because you don't be knowing. Bad, I just got to get that read. The read. 2.5. Okay. You need it for tomorrow? Yeah. I forgot about that. I meant to do that today. It's okay. Well, what if I go get get it and then bring it to the school? But like, don't don't bring it at two thirty. No, bring I can it. bring it. I'll bring it earlier. Yeah, in bring the morning. it earlier. Like, well, the people that clean the cleaning the ducks, they're supposed to come between nine and eleven. I can go right after it. that and bring okay, it. Okay, after that. Okay, eleven. 
Dang it, I forgot about okay. it. Okay. You should First of all, what I'm finna do is one. look and see if there's one on the way to dinner because... I wish you could bring in, like, second period because, like... I Amira, can't I can't control that, honey. I know. Oh, it would be amazing if you could come during lunch. I hate language arts. Mommy to the... There's a lot happening right now. Mommy guitar center. There's a guitar center. Right right here. Okay, period. I'll go get, I'll, I'm gonna go to the guitar center right now. Okay, 2.5. I'm gonna get it over. I know, I got it. All right, I'll go Thank get you, it now. Mommy. You're welcome. It's okay, baby. I love you. Are you taking your backpack? Okay. Oh, they're right there. Go. Okay, I gotta pull out. What is going on? <laughs> hey, oh, so, so that's so your daddy. He was going to get the kids. Why did you get back in the car? Because. <laughs> Y'all, look at me here. Why did you get back in the car, Amira? Bye. Did I bring something? <laughs> Mommy, this, this shirt is very sweaty. Amira, pink. get whatever you need, okay? Get whatever you need, my love. Take your time, child. Wait too Mommy loves you so much. Love you too. Later, kiddo. Get used to having a busy schedule. That's life. <laughs> hey. Okay. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Amira just taking forever to get out the car. Hey, what's up? Good to see you. <laughs> you too. What's up, baby girl? Bye, baby. Love you. Be good. Hello, beautiful. Hi, sweetie. You have a good day at school? Yeah. All right. Bye, y'all. Cute kids. Y'all, Amira's little brother and sister are so cute. all week you know about that i get there don't even look at the menu notice in the so in the solo date y'all just saw you ain't seen no lamb chops right i had my mouth and my tongue ready for some lamb <laughs> it's my favorite restaurant it's no longer my favorite restaurant y'all i ordered my um oh. octopus that was good that's my starter and then after that um she came back i was like okay lamb chops medium um why is it so light? I was like, lamb chops, medium. And um, she was like, okay. She came back like a minute or two later and was like, so actually, it's not on the menu anymore. Why would they do that? I don't know. Why? She said that it was not a popular dish. Every time I've gone there, they've told me that that was their most popular dish. I was like, this was my favorite restaurant because of that meal. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, it's not your fault. <laughs> But y'all was so upset. Yeah, she gave me a menu and then I chose something else that was lamb, but they brought it to me and it was not good. Oh. You really yawning. It's, it's 9.41, I should just shower and put it. There's a mirror, y'all. Hi. Cause you know who I'm talking to. You shower in the morning, almost all week. All week. Why is my shoe not <laughs> Anyway, y'all. Just take it off. There I sit. Getting that, I sent that back. She, she she told me. She told me when I ordered it. She was like, if you don't like it, we'll take it back. And first they brought it and it had red sauce on it. And I wasn't gonna eat it because I have a I don't know if y'all know that. <laughs> I'm allergic to barbecue sauce. And I'm allergic to like marinara sauce or so oh, like and cocktail sauce. Of time you almost died this I did not tell them about that. But I thought I was about to have another one of the moments. Because I made, well not made, but she went and she asked them if it had any of that in it. They said no. I tasted it. It was okay. I think. But it was nasty. Like the sauce was okay, but it was nasty. So brought me the menu again. And then what happened after that? And I told her I just want the octopus again. And I added some shrimp and some scallops. It was a disaster. I was so upset. I was really looking forward to them lamb chops. 
all week. Oh my God. And I just told Amir, on Tuesday, when it was raining cats and dogs, had I got out in that rain and was soaking wet and I walked in there and they had no lamb chops. Woo, I would have been mad. I got my pants dirty. Mommy, what happened? Were you crying? No. Nope. Look, it's hard too. I gotta put a shower. Let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna spray. Let me feel it. No. Yes. What? Amira, get off me. Let me. <laughs> so what happened was it when I was half a nasty dish, my knife had got something on the bottom of the knife and I wiped it on my napkin that was on my lap. But my napkin was like folded over three times. I didn't know it was gonna get go through my pants. <laughs> You really laughing. It was it was horrible. I was so upset. I'm so happy Tuesday I didn't go in. I would have been so mad. Like you mean to tell me I got soaking wet? And hi mommy. Hi. Sorry, I woke up oh. Um, you mean to tell me I got soaking wet, came in here and got no lamp chops. And I don't know if y'all know this, but I haven't drank in like six weeks. So we're watering. We're doing what watering it. Oh, I don't know what I'm about to say. But we are doing water. So not only do I sit there without a buzz <laughs> from a little margarita, a little drinky drink. It's that tap water from school. Yeah, pour that out. And brush some hot water in that. Not only did I did, did I not have my food, but I also didn't even have a little drink sitting there, which is fine because we're on our health kick. We're in water, 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 water. I'm going to give myself a few weeks. I'm going to wait till I go on my solo, um, solo trip in a couple weeks to have a little drinky drink. Disappointed is an understatement. Don't drink that water no more. That does not sound safe. <laughs> <laughs> what you say they do to the water just go? <laughs> what you say they do? The science teacher last year said that they get tap water and put stuff in it to make it taste better. <laughs> that does not sound safe. <laughs> Would you stop? Don't drink that no more. <laughs> You're trying to kill somebody's child. I still had a great time. I enjoyed myself. I was watching some Netflix, um, listening to some music on Instagram, editing some photos, just doing my thing. So I'm not complaining. I am complaining, but it still was a good night. So I love you, beautiful. You gonna text me tomorrow? You know, I, you know I'm the pro at using my phone. Amira, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Amira, you're not supposed to be using your phone no, in class. I sometimes, like the camera, my, the, my camera, I just act like I'm putting my head I'm down. I'm <laughs> That don't mean you be texting people. I don't text people. You just text me. Yeah, let's text you. <laughs> We're about to go to bed. I'm so, I'm so, check the time. It's 9.48 p.m. in Amira's bedtime. It's 10 o'clock. And, but we were, we were, I was at dinner so long because of all the mishaps. I was just sitting there, child. But it's fine. It still was cute. I felt good. I felt cute. It was really um, cool. And yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Good morning, my loves. Happy Friday. So we are about to head out, y'all, and get out of here. It is currently 12:44. This morning has been a good morning, a slow morning. Got up, got Mira out. I did my devotion. I edited some stuff. I filmed a little get ready with me real type of solo day vlog thing, you know, for last night. So I edited that this morning. The guy came to clean the ducks. So our ducks are clean. The ducks are clean. Happy about that. Yeah, the ducks are clean. And then he also like cleaned my vent. Girl, I don't know what this is. I don't want to know what none of this means. I don't. I'm still learning. It's okay. We had a cute little chat. We had a nice little chat about how new homeowners just kind of don't really know what maintenance to do until something breaks. So I'm learning, I'm learning the hard way. But anyway, <laughs> got that done. I got a load in the wash. I don't know if the dryer gonna work yet, but we're just hoping for the best. We are about to go to um, Buckhead Village. I wanna go there, cause it's cute. Um, sit and kind of get some work done. I got some stuff that I'm working on um, for the membership and then also a few other things that I need to do on my computer. So I figured we go outside and do that today. I got my tripod just in case we would like to take a few photos. Because I like my outfit. I actually just showed my outfit on um, on TikTok. But let me show y'all. If y'all not following my TikTok and my Instagram, I'm gonna need y'all to get on it because the girls have been seeing me all week. <laughs> Even though I'm just now showing up on YouTube, um, I've been posting all week this week. So anyway, um, 
yeah, this is the outfit pants Aritzia. Y'all know um, I was wearing these when I had the extra 14, 15 pounds on me. So it's a size 10. I think I'm a solid eight, six, eight right now. High six, low eight maybe. But I belted it up with my Gucci belt. Also have my Gucci slides and Gucci um, camera bag. We're just doing the matchy matchy. Um, the top is from Zara. I had this for a while and I have not been able to fit it. So um, we're wearing that today. Got on these H&M earrings I've been wearing all week. Some rings, also from H&M. JBW watch. I'm wearing Promise by JLo. Got that in PR and I absolutely love it. This is the vibe for the day. So I'm gonna take my bag, take my water bottle, take y'all, and let's go to book camp. place now that i got 15 minutes left oh my god this girl had posted this place on tiktok the place was called caramel so i think that's where i want to go let's see walking directions am i going the right way okay now i know where i'm at i'm by the hermes store right here and then i go this way y'all i'm still getting so like turned around in atlanta because i'm you know Still very new. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Anna. Anna. Yeah. It's nice to meet you, nice Anna. You. Absolutely, girl. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Am I tripping? Because it says it's right here. I found it. We're gonna go over here to Carmel right now. Lighting is terrible. I wanted to sit on the move side, but the lighting is coming from the back of the so The lighting would have been better had I sat on the other side, but who's gonna sit on the other side? <laughs> yeah, I ordered some bread first, and then I asked her what was on the menu that didn't have bread since I just ate some bread. Uh, so I got like these lentils, added some shrimp, whatever. And what's so crazy is I was just on my Instagram, and Aaliyah right now is posting about going here last night. So I uh, responded and I was like, girl, not, not me being here right now. <laughs> she was like, definitely let me know what you think about it. So, um, so far, so good. The vibes are amazing. Um, I need to be able to take some photos in here, honestly. It's perfection. Definitely my style. I'm actually, I, I'm actually pissed off because um, I only have eight minutes left. I told y'all this is going to be a long vlog. We probably well into an hour and 25 minutes at this point, but... It's cool. It's fine. I'm gonna show y'all my food once the food comes out. I just wanted to say, y'all look so beautiful. Thank you. I was glancing at y'all. I was sitting over there. I was like, they look so cute. Thank you so much. I was like, supposed to be on Pinterest or something. <laughs> You're so welcome. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. All right, y'all, so we just left from over there, and y'all, it was so freaking cute. Um, the food, the food that I got was absolutely amazing. Um, I wanted to have some time to kind of hang out in here, or out here, um, in Buckhead Village, but I feel like I'm out of time, because I need to get home for Amira, but I will be coming back out here. Uh, I can't pass up a moment to take a photo. I found a really cute spot at Buckhead Village, right here. Uh, where I just came from was over there, but right here I feel like it's really cute. So I'm gonna set y'all up, y'all can watch me real quick before we run out of space, y'all. Our 
more time seeing Barbie. So what's up, y'all? Um, uh, we are back from um, obviously earlier. It's been a couple hours now. So Amir and I are on the way to see Barbie for the fourth time. I think this is their last weekend in theaters. That's one thing you guys missed. Uh, a week-long obsession with Barbie, the movie, the soundtrack, all of that. It went down. And I'm not ashamed. It was mostly an obsession. Amir, what'd you say we both were obsessed? It was you. Amir said it was me. I don't mind that. I'm not embarrassed. I love that movie. I love the movie. You love the soundtrack. I love the you movie, movie and the soundtrack. Regardless, y'all. It's only um, in theaters. I think this is the last weekend. So we're about to go see Barbie tonight. And that's how we're going to do our Friday. But we're going to go out to eat, too. This week, we missed our new restaurant Wednesday. Y'all know Amir and I have been doing that. So, we were going to go, but it's Friday night. The traffic is horrendous, and I felt like we didn't have um, that much time. So. Between getting home and right this moment, I just had to, obviously, I told y'all we only had like two minutes left on the memory card. I had to unload the memory card with the computer. And we currently have six hours of footage. So, usually on a regular vlog that ends up being like 45 minutes to an hour, I have two and a half hours, maybe three hours, maybe three and a half hours of footage. But now we have double that. So, I'm almost sure this vlog is almost at two hours. So, this is going to be the end of the vlog. <laughs> because, good lord. So, we're headed to Barbie. I'm going to put on my slides. So, look at the editing. I know. I'm going to start tomorrow. Also, Sunday, I want to go to church. So... We'll go to church or I'm going to church. I got a list of churches I want to visit. I want to go to church, so that means I got to edit all day tomorrow. Can you close up, close up the front of the house for mommy in my office, please? And you, yeah, just yeah, do that. All right, y'all. I love you. I hope you enjoyed this first vlog back, and I will actually see you guys on the next one. I love y'all. I can see if I just close my eyes, have the foresight to believe.